Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy the videos. You have to say thank, thank you. My name's Douglas England. I live in North Aurora, Illinois, and uh, this is a 1960 Rambler American Custom. Uh, my mom and dad bought the car back a long time ago, and they kept it in the garage for many years and never really drove it much. Uh, right now, the car's only got 35,000 miles on it, and um, I was always fascinated with the car as I was growing up. And uh, when my dad retired 20 years ago, he left me the car and told me to never sell it, uh, never uh, let it get out of the family. And uh, I had to repaint the car because the paint had faded on it a little bit. But other than that, it's all original. And um, I try to get it out to shows. Uh, my dad passed away in February of this year. And uh, I feel like it's like a tribute to him now to take the car out and, and show it and, you know, uh, let people know that uh, uh, there was other old cars besides fast muscle cars, but this was the original uh, compact economy car. They get probably about 30 to um, 35 miles per gallon depending on the engine combination. This one's kind of neat. It's uh, got the Continental tire on the back and uh, it's the two colors are Alamo beige on the bottom with cinnamon bronze on the top. But like I said, everything else is original on it. The chrome, the hubcaps, all the interior, everything's all original. It's never been touched. As I was saying, the, the car is all original except for the paint. Well, we had to redo the paint because it had cracked and stuff over the years. Um, all the chrome's original, and if you want to look, this has got the optional spinner hubcaps, which was kind of unusual on a Rambler. And um, the interior is all original. It's never been recovered or replaced. Uh, I just kind of cleaned it the best I could. And uh, it's got the original seat belts and stuff still in it. My dad put the um, cover on the steering wheel because it's such a large steering wheel, you need to get a better grip on it. It has no power steering, so it's... Uh, now, is that compass original? Uh, yes, it is. My parents put that in there because my mom used to yell at my dad about getting lost. So, and it still works. It's, it's yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because it goes right over the wheelbase in the back, so... But I know when you're little kids, you do fit into it pretty good. Uh, the rare part about this car is uh, it is the custom model which has got the overhead six in it instead of the flathead. Okay. Uh, they only made it for half a year uh, in 1960 so of this particular model they only made like 2,800 of them. Right. Now, so there's very the few left. Now the overhead versus the flat, what's the difference? Uh, it's got more horsepower, more torque okay. and um, it runs a little smoother, it's a little more efficient. Uh, and the reason why they have this big bar here is because it has more torque and it gives Ooh. these were a unibody car and so right. it, they wanted to give it more you know rigidity and strength sure and um, and Correct. they designed it really good like they put the oil filter right up here where it's easy to change oh, wow. and uh, the spark good. plugs and everything it's real easy to do a tune-up on it uh, the filter for the heater is right behind that plastic case there so that wow. everything was designed for uh, uh, you know good. being easy to work on and then my dad, he added these little uh, eyelashes to the headlights to give the car a little character. Right. And uh, like I said, the chrome's all original and the paint, uh, we just redid it because it was cracking. But other than that, um, it's all original. That is so cool. That is so cool. And uh, how much uh, horsepower in this? Uh, this car's got 130 horsepower, which okay. there's hardly any weight. So it's, it's actually quite a, quite a bit. It, it picks up and goes pretty good. And then... Uh, are we looking at the, uh, the vent right here? Yeah, that's the. they were the first car to uh, actually take in the air uh, uh, under the windshield there for their heating system. So, uh, can, can we take another peek at the inside? That's all. These are the, uh, one of the only cars back then that had reclining seats, which my wife likes nowadays. Uh -huh. uh, most cars back then did not have reclining seats. And how many uh, gears? Uh, it's a three-speed automatic. It's the same automatic that like Ford bought and Studebaker and all the other car companies. It's made by Borg Warner, and um, it's pretty efficient, really. I mean, a lot of Chevy had the Power Glide, which was only two-speed. So, the car was bought brand new in Aurora, Illinois. I still have a copy of the original window sticker on it. So, I th back then, yeah, it was two thousand six hundred and seven dollars. But that was a lot of money yeah, for a Rambler, but it had all the extra equipment on it, so 
two-tone paint, Continental, uh, push-button radio, uh, clock, all that stuff was extra. Well, thanks for watching, and once again, my name is Douglas England from uh, North Aurora, and I have a lot of Ramblers, but this is very sentimental to me because it was my mom and dad's car. We'd like to show your car next, so please leave us a comment, subscribe, and like us.